UAPB is letting everybody know, don't forget about us. We over here making moves. We're doing some things that we need to do to get things in order so that we're much more competitive next season than what many thought we were going to be this past season. And sometimes, you know what? You got to step back and look at some things and understand what you know what it is that you need on the offensive side of the ball as well as the, as well as the defensive side of the ball. You know, you can't stick a round peg into a square hole. It's just not going to happen. So guess what? Coach Gamble said, hmm, let me think for a minute here. If we had a playmaker out there, an additional playmaker that is, that could help us in the special teams as well as be a threat out there on the field, I think that might put us in a better position for us to put more points on the board. Guys, Coach Gavin went out there and found him a playmaker. We're going to talk about him right after this. It's your favorite coach back at it again, 10 toes down, about to tell you how it all went down. This is Tomorrow Little Sports Network with your host, Coach Walker. If you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you get all upcoming videos. For all my leaders out there, welcome back. Y'all know the drill. Y'all know the routine. If you haven't done so already, hit that notification bell so you can get all upcoming videos. Don't forget to like, comment, and share these videos as well. And also, guys, tap in a friend or two and tell them to come on in. It's not but positive vibes over here. We're just having a good time talking about HBCU sports. And don't forget, you can follow us on social media. The links are listed down below in the description. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get into this thing right about now. So, guys, we already seen FAMU, Alabama a and Grambling, Jackson State, Texas Southern. I mean, everybody's getting recruits in right now. I mean, heck, even Alabama State, they're getting recruits in right now. But everybody's trying to figure out, like, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. What's, what's going on with PV over there? What's going on with the University of Arkansas Pine Bluff? We ain't heard much of nothing from these guys. What's going on with Southern? Southern's making some moves over there. So don't sleep on Southern either. Mississippi Valley State, they making moves over there. Don't sleep on them right now. You even got Bethune-Cookman. They're doing, they're making a move or two here and there. So I'm like, guys, well, relax, relax, relax. It's coming. They're putting it together. They're putting it together. All corn. They're making moves. They're putting it together. They're putting it together. Yeah, you got a hey, stamp pad. You got to stamp pad sometimes. But you know what? Coach Gamble said, nah. I said, I see what everybody's over there doing. He honestly believes he has the pieces in place right now, and he's trying to sprinkle in a couple more here and there to go ahead and find two some things to make sure that they're able to get out there on the field, come next fall, and shock some folks. And you know what? Coach Coach Gamble went and found him a playmaker. Yeah, he found him a playmaker for the Golden Lions offense. I believe Coach Gamble was looking for just that one little missing piece. It might be a piece or two, but I think it was a piece that he was really looking for that was missing that could help the offense in many different ways. I believe this young man is part of the answer. I really do. Understand the current receiver, Ben Young, looking, at, looking over the stats from last season, there was only a handful of players, four to be exact, that played in 10 games or more last season. That receiving core, let me understand one thing, that they need some, they need a little bit more depth in there where you can have players come in and play different positions. But you got to have some folks in there that can spell somebody. Now, yeah, this is one body that's coming in to help out with uh, the, the Golden Lions offensive receiver core. But this young man, brings, he packs a bigger punch to what he brings to the program itself. And the looming question that many have right now is who's going to be starting quarterback once the start of the fall season of 2020 start? That is one question that we will have to wait and see. But it can't hurt to have playmakers around the quarterback, especially when we find out who that quarterback is that's going to be starting. The young man that I'm talking Marcus about, Marcus Hill, was a two-sport athlete playing basketball and football at Alpharetta High School. And on the football field, he played receiver and kick returner. Now, while at Laney College, he played wide receiver and kick returner. Now, he sees the field as if everyone is standing still when returning kicks. So I'm letting you know right now, if you don't come down the field in your lanes, making sure that you're doing all of the necessary things that you need to do on the kick return or punt return, if Coach Gamble puts him back there at that as well, it's going to be a problem because this young man is looking to score. He, he, he's looking to score. I'm just going to tell you that right now. I'm not... I, I'm kind of close with saying, you know, he has the vision of like a Devin Hester with returning kicks. This young man is special with returning them kicks, trust me. And if you mess around and don't hold your hold your lanes like you're supposed to, he's going to take it to the house. And you're going to be sitting there looking like, God, dog it, I just let this young man run past me. I did not hold my assignment. Yes, you did exactly both of those things. And guess what? Touchdown. Just, just, hey, just go ahead and mark six on the board for UAPB. Like I said, Coach Gamble's trying to get him some playmakers in there, into this program that's going to turn some things around. It's going to have a nasty disposition when, it, when they get out there on the field. Those that are looking to score, and I mean score at the drop of a dime. They're not looking for anybody to, you know, try to come give them something. They're looking to get after it. 
And that's exactly what he wants. He's looking to add more speed out there. And this young man definitely definitely has that type of speed when it comes to returning kicks. And not to mention when he, he's playing uh, receiver on the field, you can line him outside or you can line him inside the slot position. Just let him do what he does best. Run his routes, catch the ball, and get up the field and go. So all I'm going to tell you is this right now. Coach Gamble went out. He got himself an athlete for the Golden, for the Golden Lions team that is more than capable of of make, he's more than capable of doing damage to an opposing defense as well as an opposing punt or kick return, opposing kick or punt team once they decide they want to kick him the ball. So I'm going to tell you right now, you better make sure your head is on straight because this young man is looking to do what he loves to do best, and that's score. But let's see, hey, let's see who else is going to commit out there. Let's see who else is going to commit to UAPB and bring in, bring some more of that action over there too. Coach Gamble's uh, offense and defense to get things rolling out here because, like I said, they've been a little quiet over there. And Coach's been looking deep to see what's going on because I know you guys are like, wait a minute, hey, Coach, what about this school? What about that school? Coach trying to give you as much pop, as much information as possible. But some of these schools, they try, they kind of quiet. They they, they kind of quiet. So if you're not able to get, if I'm not able to get it and, and deliver it to you. Hey, guys, I'm going to keep trying to find it. And when I do, I'm going to drop it right on to you, all right? But, guys, hey, we're going to go ahead and get up on out of here, man, because, you know, like I said, I held you long enough with this one. But, hey, I got another video that's getting ready to drop as well. So, y'all stay tuned and check that one out as well. But until next time, if you like the content, please like, share, subscribe. Please hit that notification bell so you can get all upcoming videos. And remember, be the one and lead.